with the detectives so far away from the prosecutor's office. That took almost 30 minutes by taxi, and traffic wasn't even that bad. This is my first time to the police department, actually. Hmm? Hold on, what's that? Disturbing! Why is it ugly like that? Oh, wait, I know. This is the Blue Badger. They're trying to make him the police mascot. Well, Mr. Wright, you know a lot about the police department. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. Forget the blue badger. Who's that next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger. Uh-oh, he noticed me. He sure is running over here fast. Hey, hey, pal! What are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why are you dancing over there? What? Um, well... Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey! I'll have you know I'm a very busy man, pal! Detective, here's my attorney's badge. You show this to me every time we meet, pal. Real men show their police badge. No said. I wish I had a badge. Even an ID card would be nice. Wait. Speaking of ID cards, I found a detective's card, didn't I? I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You better not agree to defend a suspect in this case. But why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor is confessed to the crime. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office saying she killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well, no. Come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against her. But, but what if the evidence is fake? Hey, pal, can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Why is this little girl so peeved at me? She's a relative of the suspect, Lennis Guy's sister. Whoa! The chief prosecutor's little sister? Just please investigate the case carefully, okay? Scientifically. Yes, sir! Oh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard using words like faked. Huh? It's just, it's a sensitive issue with us these days. So, what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Me? Oh, well, nothing really. They kicked me out of criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe, what did you do this time? What do you mean, this time? Then what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true. We've never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being led to criminal affairs now. The lowest ranking guy in there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? So anyway, I thought I'd spend a day getting the badger dance down pat. Um, isn't there anything else you could be doing? The chief of police himself is directing this investigation, pal. And Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall? Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know that Marshall guy. The patrolman in charge of the crime scene. It's unheard of, pal! Um, Detective Gumshoe, what can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, pal! This is the detective's ID card! You can't just keep that! You have to turn it into the police! It's people like you that get me into so much trouble all the time. Meaning Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. Hmm, let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman? Sounds familiar. Nah, my mistake. But don't you work together with him in criminal affairs? Whoa! Now I remember! Bruce Goodman! He's the victim! That's what I thought. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? So, this ID card belonged to the victim? He was a detective like myself. Detective Bruce Goodman. Hmm, don't you think it's strange? I mean, 
Why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground when we found it? Well, Detective Goodman should have been at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transfer for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transfer? Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that too. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but... Word is that Chief Prosecutor Skye called him out there to the parking lot. The lane is confessing as much. Down in Mr. Edgeworth's car, stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? What would drive Chief Prosecutor Sky to do such a thing? Oh, wait, I didn't mean... I mean, sure, of course someone else really did it. Someone who must have, um... Someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth. The car and the knife do seem a little too well organized to be a coincidence. Poor oh, Mr. Edgeworth. What could have happened? We have to find out a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. Hey, that's it! That's the King of Prosecutors Award that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday! Were you at the award ceremony, Detective Gunshu? Of course, pal! I got an award for diligence myself! Ah, congratulations. I was wondering, why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently, he's forgotten. But I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. He's even got naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Yeah, we've heard about the rumors. He's in a tough spot again. Again? started with the murder of that defense attorney, Hammond. But Edward was found innocent! Listen, pal, there have always been rumors about Edgeworth. Forging evidence, taking deals with witnesses. Nothing outright, but there are always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispered. They practically shouted. But, but there's no evidence against him! Well, Mr. Redsworth has always had unusually strong ties with the department of higher-ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea who was under the gun. Anyway, this latest case has started a new rumor. People say the only reason he took this case... ...is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor position himself. What? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this for all of us. Uh, I was wondering about that. What? The Dancing Blue Badger? It's my masterpiece. You made this, Detective Gumshoe? The Chief threw together some designs and I just did my thing, pal. Nice work. It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. There's no switch, so it just dance, dance, dances until the batteries die. Poor Blue Badger, he needed to dance until he drops. Hmm. And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you! Why aren't you handling the case, Detective Gumchu? We met the guy who is. What was his name? The guy in the parking lot. Every Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the Chief of Police. Officer Marshall, is he some kind of Wild West Sheriff or something? No, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer. From West L.A. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. Look, pal, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this, and they'll let you examine the crime scene. Maybe. I'll be surprised if this gets us anywhere. Just act like you're supposed to be there, and nobody will look at you twice, pal. Looks like the investigation is still going. I have to be given back to the shop. Sorry. Looks like I'll be stuck in this pit till the sun sleeps. 
I'll see you in my dreams tonight then, baby. Oh, still here? Uh, hello? With a surprise looks, didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in criminal affairs, too. What happened to the security guard? Hey, what's on, Bambino? You're looking like a doggy that's lost its herd. Chick Marshall. Strange guy to put in charge of a crime scene. Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? I warn you, fan letters to me go right into Splatoon. It's a letter of introduction from Detective Gumshoe. May we investigate? Gumshoe? Ah, oh, that old cow dog. Hmm. You on a birthday party or something? Huh? Look, where it should say letter of introduction, it says invitation. Ah, uh, I think he just miswrote it. Great, Detective Gumshoe. I owe you one. No worries. This proves it's from Detective Gumshoe better than a blood test. Guess I better let you in, then. Th thank you, Officer Marshall. Officer Marshall isn't a detective. He's a patrolman. That reminds me of something. That is odd. Isn't a crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or higher? Well, folks, the clues are calling. Welcome to our gold strike. They like the settler. Strike out for lands unknown. Manifest destiny. Let's have a hootin' nanny. Note to self. Least investigations are like settling land. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? I say I won't be needing this anymore. I see your badge. Looks pretty round. Our badge is a star, a lone star, shining in the nighttime sky. A beam of light, illuminating evildoers who come in the dark of night. Note to self, evildoers are weak against starlight. Hey, that's a sheriff's badge. Officer Marshall, could you tell us more about the victim? Good men always die young. Remember that, partner. Um, could you be a little more specific? Bruce Goodman. He was a detective, right? Well, well. Aren't you a fasty doggy there now? Detective Goodman was stabbed here at 515. The smiling Madonna told me the tale. I think you need some witness with Angel Star. One stabbed in the chest. A fine piece of work. This here's the autopsy report. Is my sister involved with the victim in any way? Funny you should mention that, Bambino. Chief Prospector Sky and Detective Goodman had nothing in common at all. Nothing in common? They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. So, there's no motive. Goodman wasn't a particularly gifted detective. That's one reason why I didn't do much work with the Chief Prospector. But my sister called the victim here on the day of the murder, right? Here, to this parking lot? So it seems. I called an unarmed man to a shootout at high noon. Um, I don't mean any offense, but... Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective. You call me out? They're shooting for that in Texas. Huh? I was one of them fancy two detectives till two years ago to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Now he tells me. But you're a patrolman now, so how can you be in charge of a crime scene? Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambino? So, why are you in charge? No reason. We're just short on hands right now. I'll keep an eye on the meantime. That's odd, though. Detective Gumtree was saying he had nothing to do. Nothing important, at least. He's nothing but a sad old cow dog that can't find his tail. Maybe it's because he runs without Edgeworth, thing. Eh? Edgeworth? That cow dog's been kicked out of this cattle run by order of the chief police. Just, he don't realize it yet. 
expect him to come and shoot kicked out of the investigation? This looks like a cell phone. Scientific analysis would suggest this belonged to the victim. I can't think of anyone else it could belong to. What's so scientific about that? Should we check it out? Right, let's check it out. Man, what a boring strap. What's wrong with it? Everyone has different tastes, you know. Here, check out mine. It's a pink princess strap. These are hard to come by, you know. I see he's as popular as ever with the kids. Hmm, this display is still on the redial button. Redial? Um, Mr. Wright, most phones keep a record of all the calls you've made and received. You just press the blue button to dial the last number you called. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Sorry to disappoint you, but even I know about things like redial. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, you never know what people from your generation. Whatever. Let's check this phone out. Now, I wonder who the owner of this phone called last. Not this stuff. The defense attorney doesn't think first, he just pushes the button. Hey, that song! I know that! Hey! What's going on over there? Uh, oh, sorry. I see you, partner. You pressed redial on that there phone, didn't you? Uh, well, yeah. Whose phone is this, anyway? It was on the ground over there. Whose is it? That belongs to Chief Prospector Sky. What? It's my sister's? She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody right after the crime. Look, the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing the call someone. Except she only spoke for a few seconds according to this. Who did she call? No idea. Sorry, partner. Now I got a question for you, partner. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those newfangled ring tunes. Oh, that? Oh. I'm sorry, that was my phone. What? Your phone? Yeah, uh, it's kind of strange, but someone called me right as we picked up the other phone, a wrong number. Hmm. I hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, partner. Uh oh, I'm inside the wrath of the Lone Star Patrolman. So, there's no connection between Detective Goodman and my sister. That's correct, but there's a gold mine of evidence against her. <laughs> the prospect tomorrow is none other than Antwerp himself. I'm afraid your sister's fate is as sad about me. Many condolences. Officer Marshall! Yeah, Bambino? <laughs> How can you say that? You and my sister, you are... Is there something between this cop and her sister that I don't know about? <laughs> I apologize, Bambino. Something must have gotten to me. Maybe it's that dry wind that's a blowing through the prospector's office. Dry wind or ill will, someone's up to something here. But who? Suspicions about Mr. Edgeworth have been flying around for nearly two years now. Forged evidence, arranged testimonies, you name it. He was unbeatable because he did whatever it took to win. Unbeatable, that is, until he met you. But rumors are just rumors, aren't they? These are prosecutors we're talking about. Evidence is everything to them. If you follow the rumors about Edward to their source, you find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? Bambina, it's your sister. Chief Prospect Elena Sky. What? My sister? Edgeworth couldn't rustle all those cattle by himself. 
Some people load their guns with bullets, some people load them with deals. What, you're saying Edgeworth was making deals to win trials? Where there's gunshots, there's bound to be bullets. That's what the old-timers say. There's a big old secret in around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. Is that why Detective Kashi was taking off the case? Did they target him because he was closest to Edgeworth? What's this? Looks like a note of some sort. Look! Something's written on it! You're right. Let's see. 6, 7, S, 12, slash 2. There's a name printed on the paper above that. Goodman. Maybe it fell out of his pocket when he was killed. Well, so? What does it mean, Mr. Wright? How am I supposed to know? Here's the cell. For deductive reasoning, go to Edgeworth, not Wright. I'm sure Edgeworth wouldn't know what this means either. So, well, how are we doing, Mr. Wright? I guess we've got some clues. We have an autopsy report, a note from the victim, and a cell phone. So, you think we'll be okay? Well, the only thing still bothering me is that Lana is confessing to the crime. She says she did it. No problem. I can guarantee that she's not the criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma? Yes? I know that song your phone plays when it rings. What? It's the Seal Samurai theme song, isn't it? That popular TV show for kids? <laughs> the phone that just rang wasn't mine. It was yours. At 518, just after the murder took place. Your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? I... I'm sorry. Can you tell me what you talked about? I... She hung up right away. I see. The detective is murdered and the suspect is the top prosecutor in the district. I've got a bad feeling about this. Like, maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. <laughs> 